Hi everyone, welcome back to this new update on the Omicron variant. Now the situation or the status of the Omicron variant is changing very rapidly, but in this video I do want to point out what we know so far about all the confirmed cases around the world in terms of these Omicron variants. Well, let's look at it very quickly. First, we are looking at this web page from BNO News. This web page does a very good job of updating global Omicron cases. At the time I'm making this video, 22 countries have either confirmed or probable Omicron cases. The epicenter is still in South Africa with 114 confirmed cases and close to 1,000 probable cases at this point. Now, so far, there are no confirmed cases in the U.S., but that is most likely because the U.S. does not do a very good job or a lot of cases sequencing. It ranks 20th in the world in terms of genomic surveillance of the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus. Let's look at some cases. Now, Hong Kong has had one more new Omicron cases since my last video. Hong Kong does a very good job of tracking and reporting all COVID cases. The new case is a 37 male who had been to Nigeria, Ethiopia, and Thailand and returned to Hong Kong on November 24th. He had received two doses of the Moderna mRNA vaccine in Nigeria and was asymptomatic when tested positive. According to this report from South Africa, so far most of the Omicron cases were under 40 years old and about half were vaccinated. Now, most of them experienced mild symptoms that were different than other variants. It is quite possible that this situation may change over the next few days, so we need to be very careful when we interpret this message from South Africa. I'm quite sure despite your vaccination status, you are probably wondering, are vaccinated people getting the Omicron variant? Now, the three cases in Hong Kong, they were all fully vaccinated. Two were vaccinated with the Pfizer, one was fully vaccinated with the Moderna vaccine. Now, according to the South Africa report, about half of the cases were vaccinated. Now, however, it is hard to confirm when they received their second dose, so multiple things could factor in. It could be antibody waning or it could be uh, some other factors that we do not know yet. And it's probably because of this reason the CDC strengthened its guideline on booster shots this morning, November 29th. Before the Omicron variant, CDC suggested healthy and young people above 18 years old may consider the booster shot when they're eligible, but now they suggest every adult to get the booster shot. Now, the CDC has not made any booster recommendation on children aged 12 to 17 yet, probably because there is a hurdle before uh, the FDA could approve a booster shot for this age group. Now, to wrap up this update, here are some of the countries that have reported Omicron cases. The overall vaccination rate are quite high, except South Africa. All of them are above 60%, and some are even close to 90%, such as in Portugal. Now, we don't know the rate of booster shot yet. I don't think it is being tracked very uh, consistently in the world database. So it would appear that two doses of the COVID vaccine may not be enough to protect against the Omicron variant infection, but let's hope that they are good enough to protect against hospitalization and death. Now again, the situation on Omicron variants are very dynamic and I will try to do my best to do more frequent but short videos to keep you all updated. Now again, I'll see you next time and meanwhile, please stay safe and healthy. Bye.